Hello everyone, so today we will be talking about how do we design avionics for rockets and this is going to be a series of videos where we will be talking about the software and the hardware part of it. We need avionics so that we can make certain measurements in order to analyze the performance of the flight. Also, sometimes we need the active control. Now, what are the parameters we need? So here we have x-axis, we have y-axis and z-axis and if we launch a rocket from origin, after some time, the rocket would have achieved certain altitude and would have covered certain distance. Now, using GPS, we can determine the position of rocket about XY plane. Also, by using some sensors, we can determine parameters like orientation of the rocket about Z axis and its velocity and acceleration. By knowing these parameters, we can determine the complete trajectory for the rocket. Now, the question is, how do we do that? So, there are many sensors available there, but you can build the computer based on your requirement. Here we have a flight avionics where we are using TINSI as a microcontroller and we have a sensor which is MPO6050 which is inertial measurement unit which is a group of accelerometers and gyroscopes which gives us the information about the orientation of the rocket, the angular rates, also the linear acceleration. We have a barometric sensor here which is giving the information about the barometric pressure so that we can determine the altitude of the rocket. And also we have a GPS to pinpoint the rocket on the XY plane. All this information is transferred to the ground station using a transmission module called SX1278. Now these are the components which are used and as I said, you can use the components based on your requirements. This was the basic of the rocket avionics. Now we'll be going in the detail of each and every component, like how do we interface these sensors, how do you write the software for it and how do you make a PCB for your rocket avionics. Thank you so much for watching.